Hi, I'm Mehul Harry. We're here at HTML5 DevCon in 2014, and I'm here with Tom. Tom, how do I say your last name? Wiltsius. Uh, Wiltsius, excellent. Now, Tom, can you introduce yourself for those who don't know you? Uh, sure. Um, I am a product manager on Chrome's uh, web platform team. I work a lot on graphics. Chrome, my favorite browser. And you're doing a talk here today. What is it talk about? Uh, it talks about mobile rendering performance, specifically kind of in Chrome, because that's what I know more about, but a lot of this would apply to all browsers as well. Essentially, like, how do you build a compelling touch-based mobile web app? So that's a good question. How do you build a compelling web app? Yeah, right. It's kind of a broad topic. Um, what I'm going to cover in the talk uh, is a little bit about how to consistently handle touch events, uh, especially because there, there are a lot of subtleties in the touch events stack that differ between browsers, and so that has been evolving, so I'm going to talk about some of the recent changes there. Um, and then the second half will be about uh, core rendering performance, essentially, like how do you get the new pixels up to the screen as fast as possible. Um, a little bit about Chrome's hardware acceleration, and a little bit about sort of like what the pieces of the browser are different uh, Tom, good. What, 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 what do you recommend general tips for improving performance on mobile sites? Yeah, um, it's it's tough because there are no like silver bullets, right? And so I'm always kind of reluctant to give one shot advice. But I think probably the best high level takeaway I can give people is, is to try to use the tools that we have, um, which aren't perfect. But but at least I can get you started and use that tools. Um, we have some, some good features that are built into there, um, such as like the paint rack virtualization, such as the positive character, such as the timeline view, which is a frame mode set in a frame mode now. Um, and if you if you look at jankfree.org, that's a, sort of like a, a site that I maintain with a couple other people on the Chrome team. It's just like a list of resources. It's just like articles about how do you set tools, articles about um, whatever, the touch of stuff. I was talking about before, et cetera. Uh, so that's a pretty good start. Jankfree.com will put it in. Now, what is your, what's the name of your talk? Uh, my talk is called Jank Busters. Jank Busters. Jank Busters or Jank Busters? Busters. Yes. I hope. I just love that, the, the jank aspect of it. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, now, how long have you been working on it? Uh, about two and a half years. Oh, okay. What version did you start with? I think 13. Oh wow! Jeez, yeah, like a 30 something now, right? Uh, yeah, we just we just released from 35. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Um, let me ask you this. I love Chrome, use it quite a bit, you know, and Gmail all day and so forth, so it's, you know, the fastest, special use of Google Apps. Um, I find sometimes, though, the rendering of uh, Chrome or text rendering, font rendering, which is just the work work is good. I'm on a Windows side, so I know Mac means different. But at least on Windows, it doesn't seem sometimes Firefox is a little better, even IE seems a little bit better. Why is that? Yeah, um, the, the font rendering code specifically is is all based on platform text rendering APIs. So on Windows, that means um, it's based on GDI or DirectRay. Chrome still uses GDI, which is like the older text rendering API uh, built into Windows. Um, whereas like newer versions of Internet Explorer uh, use DirectRay. Um, we're trying to move to DirectRay. We've been trying for a long time. Um, it's tough because there there are just like a lot of assumptions about how the text rendering code inside the Windows Portal web kit works. Um, that are taking a long time to strip out. But we're actually getting pretty close. Um, there's a there's some info I think on the Chromium bug tracker about this. Um, where you can follow along. Do you have some influence in the Chromium bug tracker? Because I have some bugs. Uh, let me ask. We spent a lot of time there. What is now the vision? Where, where is Chrome headed in the next two years, or is, even like the next six months? Right? What's the over? Is there a goal for? You know, maybe performance or features. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there is a vision, and it's essentially that we want we want the web to remain sort of like a, a viable application development platform, even as the computing landscape shifts. Right. So, um, as we've seen the shift to mobile computing, like the web hasn't been faring very well. Uh, 
people don't want to do apps instead. There are a bunch of reasons for this, um, but one of them, and the, the thing that I've been working on the most, is, is performance. It's probably one of the biggest reasons that's commonly cited. Um, and so we're doing a lot of work to, try to slim down the browser in order to make it more feasible to build an application that kind of looks and feels, like performs, the way a native application would, which means that in response to touch, you can have like some like uh, the kind of touch gestures that you'd expect, refresh and all the whatever comes next, right? Um, and so we want to make all that feasible. We want to make it possible for developers to build these things themselves rather than building it as primitives into the browser, um, because we recognize that you know this is a space that's going to evolve quite a bit. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of like the performance aspect. But for the other reasons that people have maybe shifted towards native apps, we have other things in the works to try to add, for instance, like more capabilities uh, to to the drive by web. Um, you know, giving giving uh, web applications access to APIs historically have been reserved for native apps. Like, you know, like, take a random example. Um, but yeah, I mean, the vision shouldn't be surprising, right? It's, it's that we, we want we want this to be a, a, a capable application development platform. Whereas right now, like on the mobile web is, is more reserved for um, kind of like content, right? Rather than apps. And so we're trying to make the apps side of the story a little bit more feasible. Now, how do you do that? Because one of the one of the big things is so we have a hybrid mobile app framework, right? Yeah, right. And that means in a web view. Now, as you know, when you're on the Google side of things, I'm not sorry, Apple side of things, you have to run according there. So even your rendering engine in Apple is Apple's, right? Yeah, you yeah, still yeah. can't use right. your, right? So how do you improve that story? Is it possible to, do you think? Um, I mean, it's possible through kind of indirect means, right? Um, I think I'd say that, like, if we can, if we can kind of like uh, how Amazon does it with the Silk Route or pay cash or something like that, or no, I mean like more the like sort of social engineering level, right? Like, if we can demonstrate that you can build very capable web apps on platforms where we do have more influence, then um, this can kind of put pressure on other vendors such as Apple. Um, to sort of beef up their offerings with the same capabilities because their users, in a sense, i.e., like the development community, if you know if they can have this and they're going to want elsewhere, then they're going to want to expect it. I think. I don't know, we'll see, but I believe we can get there. That's actually a great goal. One last question is, what about in WebView? Um, it's on Apple, but it's also on, on the Android phone as well. Um, you, get a, you don't get the performance uh, of the four browsers. Right? Is that going to change, at least on the Android side? Uh, We've seen a little bit like WinJS is starting to do that with the Windows phone stuff. Yeah. What, what kind of performance are you talking about? You're talking about JavaScript performance? JavaScript performance. Uh, yeah, so the JavaScript performance uh, uh, of the newer Android web view, which is based on Chrome, um, should be basically the same as the browser. There, there are some subtle differences in performance that have to do with like the glue that holds the native app UI framework and the web's rendering model, like the web browser's rendering model together. Um, but by and large, for instance, for things that don't touch that, like JavaScript, um, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too early. Yeah. Okay. Um, as, as for iOS, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what Apple's points are. Obviously, we all know situation there. Yeah, no, and listen, I think, as you said, you know, social engineering, you know, as more vendors start to support it, it'll only become obvious, right? So, I, yeah, like, uh, developers will flock to it. It's all about your user experience in the end, right? So, all right, well, Tom, thank you very much. Is there a Twitter or anything like that you'd like to uh, tell me about a blog? Um, yeah, I'll just plug jankfree.org again, uh, which is our comic resource site. I love jankfree.org. And uh, we'll have a link. And uh, thanks very much. Yeah. How are you doing?